This week, Untitled Goose Game creators House House attempted to influence voters in the upcoming UK general election. The studio's official Twitter account has urged UK fans to vote for the left-wing Labour Party, going so far as to display everyone's favourite naughty goose with a red rose, the party's official symbol. This should come as no surprise to anyone who's been keeping tabs on House House, as they've stated in an interview that, according to their own in-studio lore, Untitled Goose Game takes place within a socialist utopia. The subject of politics in games is increasingly fraught, with many studios attempting to distance themselves from the political themes within their work. Earlier this year, a spokesperson for EA claimed that, quote, we're not making any political statements, in their latest World War II first-person shooter, Battlefield V. So why then, in a climate where many developers are so squeamish about acknowledging the political themes within their games, are the team at House House willing to endorse a particular political party? As we mentioned in our previous video on this game's development, the four core members of House House make no pretense at being professional. We are, says Jacob Strasser, three years more professional than we were three years ago. This extends to politics. The team at House House wear their allegiance on their sleeves, and have not been shy about discussing their involvement in protests against the ongoing climate crisis. According to Nico Dusseldorp, we stopped work in the middle of our video game's launch day and went to the global climate strike because we want our government and other governments around the world to take urgent action to mitigate the worst effects of climate change. Business as usual is destroying all of our futures, and things need to change now. This is only the tip of the… iceberg when it comes to the team's consideration of politics. While House House are Australians, they have a deep affinity for stories set within rural England, and take a keen interest in British politics. It's for this reason that they chose the quaint setting for Untitled Goose Game. According to Jacob Strasser, speaking to Kotaku, we have a joke canonical version of the world of the game, in which, I don't think you should publish this, but for the sake of conversation, it's set in a world where a goose chased Margaret Thatcher out of office, leading Tony Benn to take over the UK, and enact social democracy in the UK. All the people are good Marxists, and they're all good people, and the goose is just a goose. It seems that Kotaku ignored Strasser's request to keep this quote out of their finished interview, but now that it's been published, it does give some unique insight to the studio's internal discussions around British politics. In spite of this canonical game lore, Strasser doesn't think that fans should be too concerned about the moral implications of this scenario. Said Strasser, all the people on Twitter responded to that saying, oh, I feel bad that the goose is harassing these Marxists. I'm not going to go on Twitter and correct people, because I have better things to do, but the goose is just a goose. This goose is this chaotic, neutral character. They're just an animal who's not really aware of what they're doing. According to Strasser, fans of the game are even free to read into the characters within the game and try to guess which way they voted in Brexit. Discussing Untitled Goose Game in relation to modern global politics has the House House seal of approval. Regardless, it seems that, within Britain, Untitled Goose Game really speaks to the supporters of left-wing politics. In October, the campaign for a people's vote on the final outcome of Britain's exodus from the European Union organised a protest in which over a million people marched across the streets of London. One protester, Sarah Hirakai later shared a collection of Untitled Goose Game-themed signs and placards that she'd seen during the march. Many of these featured the game's titular goose holding aloft the EU flag, or calling for onlookers to honk if you want to remain. Perhaps the most popular of these signs showed the naughty goose chasing current Conservative Party leader Boris Johnson with the caption, It's a beautiful day in the UK, and you are a horrible Prime Minister. Even before this protest, the team at House House were receiving reports that their goose was a symbol of resistance, and they were loving it. According to Michael McMaster, I'm glad that the goose is a leftist icon. That's very funny. I'd much rather it be a leftist icon than a right icon. Anything the left can take joy in and pride in and have a bit of fun with, we love. And if it upsets some alt-right people, then great. This is the climate that led House House to take an official stance in the UK's general election, as they tweeted out, Non-Goose Tweet. If you're in the UK, please, please, please go and vote for a Labour government on December 12th. End Non-Goose Tweet. 
We'll let you decide the moral of this story for yourself, but we will say that it's refreshing for a game studio to be so comfortable with being upfront and honest about the politics that have influenced their creation. It seems that Untitled Goose Game's status as a leftist icon is here to stay.